Hello friends. Today we shall be looking at the project management triangle which is a key tool which helps the project manager to manage the project. The project management triangle speaks about the three constraints within which the project manager has to manage any project. The first constraint or the first side of the project management triangle is the scope or the business functionality which the project manager has scoped out in discussions with the client. Now the second aspect or the second side of the PM triangle is the time or the schedule of the project. Now the third constraint is the cost, the budget or the resources. Now if at the beginning of the project the PM has done a good job of scoping out the functionality by discussing with the client, also done a good work breakdown structure and scheduling of the project, has done a fairly good resource loading and balancing and worked out all the relevant costs, then he arrives at the right and optimum balance, keeping in view the quality expectations that exist from the customer side. So the fourth dimension of this three point triangle is the quality or which is the customer expectations from the project. So this is a very important tool in the hands of the project manager and he needs to keep in mind that the, the three constraining aspects of this triangle are critical to be managed while executing the project well. How does it matter whether any of these changes? So that is something we need to look at. Change in any one of them affects the others. It may affect either one or both of them. For example, if the customer brings in new scope, new functionality to the pro project, then both the schedule and the cost are likely to be impacted and it is not possible to deliver say the same scope without any change to the schedule and the cost without affecting the quality. It is possible that the, the team might decide to deliver at the same cost and same schedule but then it would be a rushed job and it will impact the quality of the output. So keep in mind the Constraining factor is also the quality, the fourth dimension. The other aspect which the PM needs to be aware is which of these constraints can be flexed, keeping in view the customer's expectations about the project. Let us say inherently the project is one where it is the schedule which is the most important. For example, if you're working on a project which is a deadline driven project. For example, it can be a, a project which is linked to a sports event. For example, the Olympics or the football uh, World Cup, in which case you cannot allow the deadline to slip because there is a fixed date by which the software has to be delivered because there is a fixed date for the event to take place. Similarly, uh, there could be a, a different uh, a different kind of a project where the project is uh, a government project or a project by a non-governmental organization which has a fixed budget based on a grant in which case the cost becomes the uh, constraining element. So keep in view which is the one which is flexed. In the first case the budget may be flexible but the schedule is fixed so it may be possible to put more people and uh, at the uh, and get a slightly higher budget allocation but the time is more important in the second case the cost is fixed so the customer may be willing to take some hit on the scope but the schedule or, or the schedule but the cost would have been fixed so keep in mind these aspects while deciding how to manage within these three constraining aspects of the pm triangle and finally uh, there are various other factors which also need to be considered while managing the project which includes project risks, stakeholder interest etc. 
but these three are the key elements which need to be kept in mind while managing the project and taking it to success. Thank you.